four candidates and eight stocks. Joining me now for Investing 101 is Dave Bartosiak of Zax.com to talk about the election and investing. Good to have you here. Good to be here. So we have Trump and Clinton, Sanders and Cruz all vying for the White House. And this will make a big difference if you're an investor because there's certain stocks that could ramp up or maybe kind of die out or fizzle out depending on who's elected here. Right, depending on who, depending on which party, depending on which candidate within the party ends up getting uh, elected. It's going to be an interesting toss up here. Let's start with Donald Trump because he's such a force of nature here talking about Apple. Bring those jobs back to America, he says. Will that hurt the stock? I think it will. So he is going to be one, the, Apple's going to be one of the losers should Trump get elected here um, because, again, he's talking about bring in, make sure, you know, we're going to put these uh, these trade walls up, right? We're losing the trade war right now to China, and they're making us look stupid. Uh, so one of the things he wants to do is he wants to make sure you're not going to be manufacturing all that stuff overseas. So Apple's going to take a hit, plus you got the repatriation and all their money overseas that he's going to want to, he's going to want to bring that money back too. So <laughs> Apple's definitely a loser in this situation, but the winner is U.S. manufacturing. So if you think of the John Deere's of the world, the, uh, the Briggs and Strattons of, you know, of the world, those are going to do well should Trump get in office. Let's talk about Hillary Clinton now. Some winners and losers there. You say gun stocks, not so well. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think gun stocks are going to do too great uh, should Hillary get elected because obviously she's going to be a little bit more restrictive um, on the gun laws, uh, I believe. Uh, but uh, on the flip side of that, I, I still think that kind of the, the established kind of the Wall Street firms, so if you think of the Goldman Sachs of the world, I think they're going to be okay. Maybe not necessarily because she's going to do so great for them, but it's kind of like at least the other guys aren't going to come in and smash them up, right? So I think that's kind of the trade there. That's why they're going to benefit if, uh, if Hillary gets elected. Bernie Sanders, on the other hand, Goldman Sachs might want to get worried. Yeah, if, if Bernie, if, if, if we really feel the burn and he manages to sneak in there, uh, I think what you're going to see is the Wall Street firms are going to be in trouble. The big banks are really going to be in trouble. So the JP Morgans of the world, the banks of, Bank of America's of the world, they're going to have a tough time. Uh, but on the flip side, though, uh, if he does get in, he's probably going to expand Medicare, basically, to be kind of a single-payer program across the board. So I think if you look at a company like Johnson & Johnson, they're definitely going to benefit from that. There's just going to be that much more demand for their, for their products. Oh, health insurance companies had a tremendous rally under the Obama administration. Let's move on to Mr. Cruz. Now he's ready to repeal Obamacare. That's right. Should he get elected, he's going to come in and blow that thing up. So if he does blow it up, then all those companies that benefited from Obamacare are going to do an about face. So you're talking about the Aetnas of the world, the United Health Cares, basically anything health insurance related is going to have a tough time should Mr. Cruz get elected. Lots to look forward to here with this interesting election. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Yep, Never a dull here. moment, right? No, not at all. <laughs>